New Zealand a much, much better place. The Honourable Dr David Clark. Poppycock, Mr Speaker. That was an interesting speech, looking around the House, looking around opposite and seeing the faces of the members opposite. When that member tried to announce that in two and a half years he was hoping to take back government, there was not a single confident look in the opposition benches, Mr Speaker. The only ones looking a bit cocky at that point were Judith Collins and Amy Adams, who think their chance is coming, Mr Speaker. That is an opposition in disarray and a chief rooster who's going to be a brief rooster, in my view, Mr Speaker. Uh, we know on this side of the House that we have inherited nine years of neglect. They eventually got the government books back into the surplus during their time. It took them a, a jolly long time. In fact, they borrowed more on that side of the House than any previous government in New Zealand history. That is the biggest borrowing government in New Zealand history, those people sitting opposite that were a part of that government. We now have the opportunity to rebuild our economy. The only way they ever got to surplus was through building social and infrastructure deficits. We now, Mr Speaker, on this side of the House, form a government and we have the backfill to address. We need to make sure that we address that nine years of neglect. We need to make sure we address the housing crisis that built up under their watch. We need to make sure that we address the health system under huge strain after their time, their nine years of underfunding. An education system that's been struggling, inadequate transport, joblessness in the regions, the list goes on, and rising crime, Mr Speaker. This government is determined to turn, the, turn that around, make sure not order, just that we're- Order, order. Member, resume his seat. I'm now going to remind members that speeches during the general debate are not to be read at all. David Clark. Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I'd happily give you these notes because they do not contain full sentences. Mr Speaker, uh, th this, this government is going to turn around those nine years of neglect and be absolutely clear that we're going to build an economy that works for all New Zealanders. We're not just going to achieve surpluses, we are going to build an economy that works for all New Zealanders. We are going to rebuild housing, Mr Speaker. We are going to get KiwiBuild underway by the 1st of July. We're going to start rebuilding Dunedin Hospital, a project that was delayed time and time and time again. When I asked Tony Ryle in 2014 when that hospital rebuild was going to start, he said decisions were going to be taken by the end of the year in 2014. This government, Mr Speaker, is finally getting on with the Dunedin Hospital rebuild, Mr Speaker, and the citizens are happy about it. We're going to make learning more affordable, Mr Speaker. This government has introduced free tertiary education, Mr Speaker. That is a landmark decision. This government has made the biggest change in, in redistribution of incomes through the families package since 1991, Mr Speaker. That is going to mean tens of thousands of children are brought out of poverty. This is a government that is already delivering for New Zealanders after so many years of neglect, Mr Speaker. We've got the Provincial Growth Fund, and I think we're going to hear a whole lot more about that. A billion dollars a year, Mr Speaker, a billion dollars is going to make a significant dis difference in those neglected regions. And as I've travelled around the country in my prior roles uh, as regional economic development spokesperson, I've heard from those regions, they were feeling the squeeze under the former government, and now this government has a plan to do something about that, to invest in the region, invest in jobs, invest in incomes, invest in livelihoods and infrastructure needed in our region so desperately, Mr Speaker. Of course, all of these things will take time. We will not fix every problem built up after nine years in one budget. And I think New Zealanders understand that. We can't fix nine years of neglect in one budget. But we are already making significant progress with the Kiwi Build project, with the, uh, with the, um, the paid parental leave, with the increase in police that we're looking toward, with the Superfund re contributions restarting, Mr Speaker, uh, with the State House bills and so on, Mr Speaker. This is a government that is already delivering despite those years of neglect. And what have we got on the other side of the House now, Mr Speaker? We've got national MPs publicly fighting, publicly fighting, Mr Speaker. We have Todd Muller attacking Simon Bridges' transport plan. And I look across the House for Mr Muller, and these days I have to look a long way back, a long way back. 
He's not a happy man in this government, Mr Speaker. We have Amy Adams humiliating the leader, humiliating the leader uh, over the value capture proposal. And, uh, you know, she knows her time will come. She's confident she'll win the next round of the leadership. I can see her there. She looks happy hearing it. She knows she's in next time uh, when, when the leadership change happens. She's the next one off the block. And Judith Collins, though, she already thinks she is there. She's undermining him too, Mr Speaker. Uh, she is the real public face of National now, Judith Collins. Uh, she's sniping it at, at, um, at Simon Bridges, order, though, for his underinvestment in local roads, Mr Speaker. The There's so much more I can say. Mr Speaker. Uh, well, Mr.